Now, speaking of battles, in less than two weeks, San Francisco will host the America's Cup World Series. It's one of several races leading up to next year's America Cup Finals, which will also be held here in the Bay. To learn more about what we can expect, I headed down to Pier 80, home to the reigning America's Cup champ, Team Oracle USA. Take a look. So, just how do you assemble and move a 45-foot high-tech Grand Prix racing boat with a 20-meter hardwing sail? Well, it takes a big crane and a lean and fit shore crew. This sleek catamaran will be front and center at the upcoming America's Cup World Series regatta. And one sailor who's intimately familiar with its speed is Bay Area native and Olympic medalist, John Kostecki. How is the World Series different from the America's Cup that's gonna happen next year? Well, the, the World Series is, is very similar to the America's Cup, but the America's Cup, we're gonna be you know, sailing exclusively here in San Francisco mm -hmm. in 72-foot boats um, with the hard wing. Um, these AC-45s that we're sailing in the World Series mm -hmm. are just a smaller version of the boats we're gonna be racing in the America's Cup. What are the differences of their size, their speed? Well, the, the, actually, the, the AC-72s are, you know, a fair amount bigger, more powerful, and obviously faster. An AC-72 will go up to about 40 uh, knots, which mm -hmm. is as fast as a car would drive across the Golden Gate Bridge. Wow. Now, there's been a lot of secrecy behind the design and construction of these boats. Has the technology changed a lot in the last few years? Well, yeah, the, basically the whole concept of the boats have changed. Um, we used to sail monohull, single hull boats, you know, with a keel, heavy uh, lead keel attached to the bottom of them for, to keep the boat upright. Mm -hmm. Catamarans, two hulls, wide platform, no keel, very light boats with a lot of sail area, so very fast speeds. Well, one thing I've always wondered is, you know, how much of winning a race depends on just who has the fastest boat and who has the best technology versus how much strategy? I mean, does that play a big role? Well, speed definitely helps. And, you know, we put massive amount of hours and effort into creating boat speed. And, um, you know, we have a large design team and, uh, you know, working on um, boat building techniques and whatnot to, you know, design and build a, the fastest boat. But you still, you know, you never know what you're going to end up with at the end of the day. Hopefully your boat's going to be faster. And so you also have to have a great sailing team and, you know, sail fast and, and, and um, smart around the racetrack. Now, what about your role on the crew? Like, what do you do? I'm, uh, I, my role really is I'm a tactician. But on these AC-45s, we, everybody does a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, so the tactician role is more of a secondary role. On the AC-72, um, be doing a little bit of everything as well, but will be more specific roles, and I'll be able to do more of my tactician role on that yeah. AC-72. You shouldn't sell yourself short. You're basically the mastermind, right? You're telling <laughs> everyone what to do. Well, um, where to go on the race course, really, um, and helping the helmsman direct the boat um, versus your competitor, taking into account the wind, the waves, the currents, and make some uh, decisions. How is this race going to be different from other races you've been in? Well, past America's Cups have been sailed very far offshore, so to view them, you have to get into a boat and go offshore and watch it. This one, you know, you're going to be able to watch the race right on the uh, city front, you know, next to the city, and we're going to be right going right up and down the shoreline. Does that make it any more dangerous for you as a competitor? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a combination of a few things that are going to make it relatively dangerous. I mean, these boats are, are fast and light. Um, the strong winds here in San Francisco, and then the course, yes, is is a lot shorter. So there's going to be a lot of close maneuvering and a lot of close quarters. So yes, there's a, a higher uh, risk level and, and danger level. But that makes it more exciting for the spectators, right? Absolutely, spectators like to see that that danger, and uh, every once in a while, a few crashes, and um, we'll be we'll be having those out there. I've heard there are less competitors this year than people thought. What's been driving that? Well, unfortunately, you know, the European uh, economy has gone through a little bit of a downturn, and um, I, I know for sure that's uh, hurt the, the numbers out there. But, um, you know, we're hoping to have uh, five to six boats for the America's Cup um, Louis Vuitton series, and then, um, then there'll be uh, two boats in the America's Cup in September of 2013.
You actually are a Bay Area native, right? You grew up here. So what does it feel like to you coming back to your home turf to, to race? To have the America's Cup in, on your home waters, is it's basically a dream come true for me. And um, so pretty um, excited and really, you know, looking forward to, you know, racing next year in the America's Cup. All right, I'm looking forward to it. I wish you the best of luck. All right. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Wow, how exciting. I can't wait. Well, you can watch the America's Cup World Series here in the Bay from August 21st to the 26th.